So we made contact with uh, ActiSense through their support. Um, now I sent an email to them to say that I bought an NGW1 uh, AIS unit. Uh, we're running it through a uh, NEMA 2000 to CTORC NG converter. Um, and that's connected to the Raymarine unit through a CTORC backbone. Uh, Matsutech gives out through a multi-plug both RS232 which we're not using the an RS422TX and RX which we are using uh, tell them how the black and the red wires are connected how the uh, uh, blue and the white con uh, are connected um, we get uh, one LED on the ActiSense on the NEMA 2000 side uh, the 183 LED comes on briefly when you just power it up and that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, I can see that the ActiSense is active on the Raymarine in the network uh, but we're not getting any AIS on the cartography. Uh, so uh, we've checked the output voltage on the Matsutech uh, and we're getting 2.6 volts from the TX pins uh, and RX is zero which it would be because it's not plugged into the network at that point. When I plug it into the network, uh, I'm getting 4.6 volts on the RX. So, uh, and I tested that by opening up the NGW unit and testing the voltage on the input pins to the board. So that's what we sent to ActiSense. Now they, they were pretty quick. Next day I got a response from ActiSense. Um, now they want me to check a number of things, which is what I thought they would say. Uh, check that the board rates match on both devices um, now I've bought this as an AIS unit and the board rate for AIS is 38400 uh, and the Matsutech in the book says that it operates at a board rate of 38400 now when you look at the troubleshooting in the ActiSense it does talk about the board rates are not matched so is that does that mean that the ActiSense AIS is not set correctly? Question. Um, they want to know what the Matsutech actually is outputting, whether it's outputting NMEA 0183 sentences. Well, again, the Matsutech book says it does. And I am getting voltages coming out, so that's saying it is sending something. They want to know what the Matsutech output actually looks like. So that, that means I've got to record the data. Mm -hmm. um, and what 183 sentences are we trying to receive uh, on the NGW1 from the Matsutech? Mm, again, getting, starting to get technical. Following point three, a NEMA recording of the output for the Matsutech would be very useful. Uh, if you could take this using uh, the ActiSense NMEA reader, so it logs uh, in e e EBL format, so that they could analyse it. Okay, that means that I need an RS232 cable. Um, I don't have an RS232 input into my laptop, so then I've got to get a serial to USB adapter. Uh, and that recording will help them understand what's being sent by the unit, uh, by the instrument. Uh, also, it might help if I update the NGW onto the newest firmware. So again, I've got to, the only way I can do that is to plug the ActiSense whilst powered up to the boat network, is plug that into a laptop. And again, that has to go through another cable. So I've got to take apart part of what I did the other day. So this is getting a little bit technical, uh, to say the least. They have sent me a couple of downloads uh, for software. So we'll, all we can do is wait and see how that... Uh, uh, trans carries on and, and, and uh, what results we get from that um, 
I went back to them and just said, look, I'm, non, I'm non-technical, I'm a user. Uh, I expect to, be able to buy something, plug it in, and it to do what I bought it to do, uh, given that that's what it says it does on, on, on the box. Uh, and he came back with saying, uh, yes, you do, uh, you do have to uh, buy, uh, have this and you have to do that. Uh, we have to do two different tests. Uh, one's connected straight from the talker, that's the Matsutech, to the PC. Uh, and recording taken, so I've got a bit more wiring to do there by the look of that. Um, on that device, and the second will be from whilst the MGW1 is connected to the Matsutech and recording to the NMEA 183 output from the Matsutech. So I'm not quite sure what is meaning there, but we'll have to work that out. Uh, so let's uh, see how this goes. From the ActiSense uh, wiring. Uh, so this is out of the NGW1 at this side, and that's to the IRS232 um, port. Um, what we should have is the blue and the black go to ground, which is on pin 5. Uh, the white, which is the RX, goes to pin 2, and the red, which is the TX, goes to pin 3. Okay, we've received our uh, um, serial, and that's the RS232 serial connector to USB. So we've got that cable. Um, I've taken an old USB cable and just cut into it, uh, cut this down, and I've got then an RS, I've got then an RS232 socket. Um, here we've got the black and the green, which is blue, um, on pin 5. We've got red on pin 3, which is the TX. And we've got white on pin 2, which is RX. So that enables me to put the converter into it. And at the other end of this cable, uh, which is just an old USB cable actually, uh, we've got uh, these and they'll just go straight into the NGW1 hardwired in.